after you soak, simmer, or after you cook your grain, you can do what I do is to dry it. I'll toss it for a second in a in a tote like this, and right here I'll toss it until it stops steaming a lot, and then I'll lay it out on the tarp. And I'll take a dowel, I'll, I'll dump it in the middle, and I'll take a dowel and do this. This is just a dollar, under a two dollar piece of wood at any hardware store. And, and, or Walmart. I might even got this one at Walmart. It's just a, a dowel, I believe. And, or any stick with some gimp to it would work. But I do that every, you know, I'll let it sit here for an hour with the ceiling pan up there is going. See the ceiling pan up there is going. But I'll have this going. You know, I do this maybe every 15 minutes. So like four times over the course of an hour. And it seems to work really good. At first, you know, spreading them out and getting them spread out even. But second, it, it um, gets them nice and evenly dry. You know, if you're if your uh, oats, especially oats, I really love oats, but this would work with rye really well too. Um, if you don't have the ability to to lay them out, um, I would just shake them even more in the tub. But that's a lot of work to get them perfect. This, you know, a ceiling fan or uh, or oscillating fan in the room though is a must. But this really seems to help. You know, you just go go around it, I, you know, I'm doing it a little more than necessary, but, you know, go around it a couple times like that, and you're good to go. You end up with uh, the outside, the, the hull of the oats, um, nice and dry, or, and not sticky. And these, uh, these tarps, this one, I just wash in the wash machine with a little bit of bleach. Uh, so, up uh, what? So up here, um, so yeah, like, comment, even if it's just a 